man. Next up, oil catch cans. Myth or must-haves? You be the judge. Ugh. Hey guys, today in this video, I want to cover oil catch cans, what they are, how they work, and in my opinion, if they're worth it or not. Um, what an oil catch can is, is a device just like this. It's, it's a can and it's got two, uh, an input and an output nipple on it. And what that does is it takes the line from your positive crankcase ventilation in your uh, valve cover and you basically splice this unit into it. So it'll, instead of just being a hose that goes from there into your intake, you would just cut it, the inline would come into the inlet, the, and then the other end of the hose would come to the outlet of this. And basically what this does is it catches all the vapor or supposedly catches all the vapor from your, your, your crankcase ventilation uh, valve. Especially important on a boosted car because you're putting a lot of pressure in the internals of the motor that can multiply those vapors. So the reason this is important in my opinion is because you know we don't want to introduce all that blow by back into the intake of the motor. Um, I pulled my uh, 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 um, throttle body off and looked, you know, down the intake and, and, you know, it was really sooty and I was wondering, you know, where a lot of this stuff was coming from. So I took a whim and uh, I installed this old catch can and lo and behold, you can see that it's about halfway full and this is only about 4,000 miles. And that is nasty stuff that we just saved from going into the uh, intake of the motor. So in my opinion, this thing absolutely is worth it, especially on a turbo car. I mean, look how much stuff we caught in only 4,000 miles. I don't know, what is that? Probably six, seven ounces uh, of, of stuff. That's a lot when you're talking about a daily driver that you're maybe putting 10, 15,000 miles a year on. So instead of coating the whole inside of your engine and your intake and robbing performance or worse, you know, you install an old catch can, boom, you catch everything. Now, let's talk about pricing on these old catch cans. People get a lot of sticker shock. They'll look up an old catch can online at their favorite auto parts place, and it's like, wow, these things can be hundreds of dollars. I even saw one that was like three or 400, Now it was billet aluminum and all that, but you don't need that. These things are so simple, you can actually build one, and there's some videos on YouTube of guys who actually did. Um, I'll try to find it and maybe put it in the link uh, in the description, but I remember watching it. My alternative was just to go to eBay. Um, you know, eBay is great for a lot of stuff, especially when it's not a real important moving part. There's no moving parts on this. It's an inlet hose that goes about halfway down and then one that's higher up so the vapor comes out and then the, you've got cleaner air around it to continue on into the intake of the motor. I mean, there's really nothing to go wrong. This unit was less than 20 bucks. Uh, and if, if some of you guys want to know where I, uh, what company I bought it from, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll uh, try to dig it back up. But you can get these on eBay for less than 20 bucks. Uh, for less than 20 bucks, not only can you have it shipped, but you can get all the hoses and, and clamps and everything to do this. Okay guys, that's it for this video on old catch cans, myths or must haves. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, bottoms up.